Neighbors believe this is a natural gas explosion because they have been laying pipe. However, the fire department has not confirmed that. What caused is under investigation. Now, although they say the fire was fueled by natural gas, neighbors just heard a loud boom and then cries from help from at least one woman. Fire officials confirm three injuries, two females and one man. The man got hurt trying to help someone out of the rubble. The two women are being treated for burns. And this is what fire officials and witnesses have to say about the explosion. As far as the cause of this incident, it is under investigation, and we have units that are going to be on the scene for quite a period of time at this point, just more or less cleaning up and maintaining the situation to make sure that everything is seen safe at this time. I was at the market, it was like a big boom. So I didn't know if it was like a bomb or was like something exploded, or but it was just like boom. And when I came in, it has a scene. I said, oh my God, and I hurry up and call 911. And it was like, it was crazy. The explosion and fire injured three people, two females, one man. According to fire officials, the man got injured trying to rescue one of the females. Firefighters came here shortly after 2 o'clock this afternoon. And of course, as you can see behind me, they remain on the scene. Reporting live from Pigtown, David Collins, WBIL TV 11 News. Okay, David, thank you. And Sky Team 11 and Captain Roy Taylor are live over the scene of that explosion with some late breaking details. Roy, what can you see from your vantage point? Well, they've had the fire put under control at around 332, but as you can see, there's still some hot spots that keep spurting up that they have to put water on. But the biggest issue is going to be the neighborhood and the traffic situation here. You have Washington Boulevard, which is pretty much shut down between Monroe Street and uh, let's make it at uh, South Cary Street. So that causes an issue. And then a bunch of the neighborhoods are blocked off simply because there's just so much equipment on this two alarm fire. Now, a BGE is still here along with the building inspector from Baltimore City dealing with this explosion. Uh, we're still trying to get more on it, but uh, traffic-wise, our suggestion is just remain clear of this entire area until fire department's able to start clearing units out of the scene. Reporting live at Sky Team 11, I'm Captain Roy Taylor.